Well, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and here to talk about prevention and treatment of prostate cancer is Dr. Robert Prinsenthal. He's a radiologist with RadNet. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. So it's good to talk about this. The month is winding down, but you know we talk so much about breast cancer. It's good to uh, switch gears a little bit and talk about prostate cancer because I understand it is the second most common cancer among men, with more than 220,000 new cases a year. Exactly. Yeah. Men need to take a page from women and learn mm -hmm. how to fight like women. Mm -hmm. Women have done a great job raising awareness in October for Breast Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month. Men and even a lot of doctors don't know that September is PCAM, Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. Now, tell us, what are some of the signs and symptoms of prostate cancer? The problem is there aren't any signs or oh. symptoms for the most part. Okay. The, the prostate is a little tiny walnut-shaped gland in the bottom of the body between the bladder. Mm -hmm. and. The, the best screening study is the PSA blood test. Okay, okay. But there's a, that's been recently revised, is that correct? And uh, The what problem the has been that many men with an elevated PSA don't mm -hmm. have cancer, and some men with a low PSA do get cancer. Okay. So the guidelines were that the urologists were doing a lot of biopsies and yet not finding a lot of cancer. But now studies have shown that screening does save lives. Okay, so that's certainly important. What are some of the tests and screenings that uh, can be done at this point? Well, the most important one, of course, is the physical exam in mm -hmm. conjunction with the PSA. Okay. And if the PSA is going up over time, the standard way was to have men get biopsies by a uh, urologist, but they weren't being image guided. They were sticking needles in the gland relatively mm -hmm. blindly. Okay. So they were finding cancers by chance or miss, missing mm -hmm. cancers. But now with prostate MR, we finally have a study where we can image the prostate gland directly and oftentimes find the cancers. Okay, now women are always encouraged to get their mammograms every year at the age of 40. What about men? What age should they start getting these screenings? The official guidelines are 55 to 75. Okay. We feel that men should be started to be screened at the age of 50, and we don't think there should be an end of age cutoff. It depends on how vibrant or active the man is. Okay, and a good uh, detector of finding this is the prostate MRI? That well, start with the PSA and a physical mm -hmm. exam, and if they're showing a trend that is suspicious, Mm -hmm. prior to getting a biopsy, we think getting an MRI is a good uh, second step mm -hmm. because we can maybe avoid men getting unnecessary benign biopsies, but more importantly, we can direct the urologist to hit the most aggressive spot. Okay. And it sounds relatively simple, but why do you think that men are so reluctant to go in for these screenings? Because before, the only way to find it was to have 12 needles inserted into the prostate gland, and that's mm -hmm. a little uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes men were being overtreated because prostate cancer many times doesn't grow fast and doesn't cause harms, oh. but they were getting their prostates removed, perhaps without good cause. Then there's some side effects with that surgery. So if we can encourage men to have more appropriate treatment, reduce those surgical side effects, and still save lives, we think that everybody will be better off. And any time a man goes to get this checked out, he can say, hey, I don't want all those needles. They should ask their doctor about imaging first. Okay. And there aren't many places that do quality imaging. So, I mean, there are some good centers in L.A., but with RadNet, we now have 14 centers through wow. Southern California. So there's really a wide geography of getting men access to this important technology. Yeah, very important. All right, doctor, thank you so much, Dr. Prisenthal, and uh, we appreciate you coming in. Here's a pick. Oh, thank you so much. Well, to learn more about RadNet Imaging Centers, go to kkl9.com and click Scene on TV.